Hi, my name is Jeff Anderley. I'm a professor of clarinet and chair of the woodwind department here at SFCM. And we are here today to see what happens when you run clarinet through a guitar pedal. Uh, the pedal we're using today is the Strymon Timeline, which is um, a really fun pedal to mess around with. There's a bunch of different stuff you can do with it. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I like to do when I'm using effects on the clarinet. Um, and hopefully you will get inspired to start that journey for yourself. So I'm using a uh, mic that I bought from this company, Pasoana, and um, it's a wonderful little mic. Um, it does require drilling into the barrel of your clarinet, but it's something that a repair person can do for you very easily. And the nice thing about it is because the mic is so close to the sound source, um, you rarely have to worry about feedback and things like that. The drawback is it's a very particular sound because you're not getting the entire um, like acoustics of the instrument. Um, but when you're running it through a pedal anyway, that doesn't matter as much. Um, so I like using this for um, effects, but you can also just use a normal 57, uh, Shure 57 microphone and that will get you kind of pretty close to the same thing. This is the Strymon Timeline Delay Pedal. It's a super fun pedal to mess around with. It's sort of infinitely tweakable. It's actually made here in California and it's a ton of fun to use. Um, there are a bunch of different presets that come built into it, and then you can, of course, customize it to do whatever you want. I'm going to start with maybe the most simple thing that you can do with a delay, which would be just a single delay. Um, and then as we go on, there will be more um, effects and things that are added. But this is basically just an eighth note delay. <laughs> Um, and what I like to do with an eighth note delay is play pieces uh, phased with myself at an eighth note. So it's kind of a way of playing a duet with myself. If we expand the delay to the max, which is two and a half seconds, uh, we can play a really fun piece that way. So this is, uh, Telemann wrote these six canonic sonatas, um, which are designed to be played. Uh, two people read the same sheet music, but one person starts a bar after the first person. And so we can actually have the delay be the duration of entire bar, and I can play the duet with myself. Thank you. 
One of the other things that a reverb pedal can do as it starts to create more copies of the input sound is um, play them back at varying stages of delay to create a kind of reverb effect. Um, so it's not a true reverb, but it's reverb adjacent um, and it can kind of make things sound varying levels of spaciness, which can be really fun. So this will be the um, first movement of the Stravinsky three pieces. Uh, with varying amounts of spacey reverb. Uh, so this one might be my favorite. So this, in addition to all of everything we had before and the octaves up, it adds some lower octaves. Now, just because we're using a pedal doesn't mean we can't add our own fun effects to it. So, of course, things like multiphonics and singing and slap tonguing um, are only going to add to the experience.
philosophically, I think experimentation is really important for any musician. And I think because we have so much technology available to us as musicians, it's important to kind of get into that world and see what we can do with technology. Um, so obviously you can compose, you can improvise, you can play pieces that use um, any number of pedals or effects or things like that. I personally just like to use it for just messing around, um, things like trying to see if I can play in rhythm with myself and kind of test myself um, that way. Um, so it's certainly something that you can do use in public performance but for me that was always a little bit daunting because i'm not a composer and i'm only somewhat of an improviser um so i sort of like the ability to just kind of this is something i just do for me really but it does teach me about the instrument it teaches me about um a certain kind of like fluency with technology that i use um in you know other situations 